Welcome to the Swedish Maker. This week we're finding out if this CNC is worth buying. And I'm also going to make a small sign, so stick around till the end to see how the finished result looks like. So I got this on uh, Gearbest on a flash sale. I'll leave a link down below to the exact model I got, but uh, it was shipping from Spain to Sweden, which was really good when uh, there is a local warehouse. It takes a couple of days instead of ordering from China, which is a couple of weeks. This particular model, I think, is the same as most of the 3018 CNC machines. It's got a engraving area or build area of 300 by 180 by 45 millimeters. And the 45 is kind of... I'm not sure about that because you have to adjust the motor some and it's also dependent on what bits you have how deep you can go into the wood. The motor is 120 watt 10,000 rpm. I think so far I've I, it seems kind of good. The control software is Gerbil control and what surprised me was that the software, I haven't used this, but the software now came on a USB stick instead of a CD, which is uh, really hard to use when you're on a Mac, at least. So one good thing about this is you can actually replace this motor and use a laser instead, if you want a laser engrave. And the lasers are bought separately most, most of the time. It comes with some 10 V-carving bits, they're all the same, so if you want to uh, do something else than V-carving, you should get some additional bits as well. Other than that, it comes with these uh, small clips that are used to hold down the workpiece on the table here. And all the bolts and nuts came in this little box. So it came with this manual, which was not IKEA style at all. Uh, it was really hard to follow this and most of the time you're better off just watching someone else build it on YouTube. But in my case, the x-axis stepper motor had to be mounted on the left because these two back elite pieces were actually mirrored. And from what I've seen online, there is absolutely no one else uh, having their stepper motor on the left side. But I asked around in some forums and uh, I, some people have had this issue as well. So what I had to do was I had to change some of the wires on the control board. So it comes with this 24 watt uh, power supply and this USB cord that goes from the control board and directly into the computer. Now I have done some carving on this. I did some uh, just simple signs at first. And then last week in the video, I used Fusion 360 to make a ring box. And it actually worked, so, uh, so it can do other things than just cutting out letters. But one of the limitations that is bothering me is actually the build height. So what I had to do with the ring box, and the material wasn't even that thick, but I had to raise the motor a bit. So unscrew this screw and raise the motor a bit, and then uh, put the bit a bit higher into the socket here. I also made a sign for the workshop that is hanging outside of, on the door and uh, it looks really good. For that project I spray painted the letters with some gold paint and then I sanded it down. And I sanded it down too early so the gold letters are not showing really, but uh, it can be done. So one other thing that is kind of annoying are these little clips. And as you can see the bolts that came with this are not that big so if you want to clamp something a bit bigger down they are kind of useless but then again you could uh, clamp a smaller piece of plywood or something to the plate and then drill your workpiece into the plywood uh, that's one option that i haven't done yet i ha actually haven't used the uh, the software that came with it so far i have only used easel and uh, fusion 360 so for the sake of this review, I'm just going to make a quick project where I'll be using a small piece of scrap walnut to make a sign that says please don't put any more ads in my mailbox, but in Swedish. So I've uh, gone into uh, the easel 
software uh, and the first thing I want to do is set up my machine if you haven't done that already and uh, you can click set up your machine here and my machine type is Gerbil uh, I'm going to use Arduino my rail size is 500 millimeters I have an M8 rod and I am using another spindle motor I'm going to set it to 10,000 and I'm going to confirm my settings and then you can actually test if your wiring is correct before doing anything so I can try to see if the spindle the x-axis is right and if the y-axis is right and if the c-axis is right like that so if it isn't working you can click no here and see if uh, they can help you uh, solve that problem. Uh, I usually go with automatic spindle control, save, and uh, if you want to try it, you can turn it on and turn it off so you know it's working. And I don't have homing switches, so I'm going to disable homing and then finish. So the first thing I want to do is change the size of my uh, workpiece here and it says birch plywood and this is walnut so I'm going to choose walnut and the size of the walnut is 169 by I'm going to say 30 millimeters and the thickness is 8 millimeters I think so now I can see my workpiece and this is uh, where my design is going to go and I'm just going to make a simple sign so I'm going to use the letters here and I think I'll go with Blanche so as you can see here there's some some uh, fonts says pro and you can add more pro fonts and with easel you have four free pro days a month uh, unfortunately I used mine up but if you want to print with another font or do something with pro if you want to do something that needs easel pro you can do that four times a month so they're really generous with that i'm going to choose blanche and my sign is going to say ingen reklam tack and then i'm going to move this and it's too big so i have to make it smaller like that and I can actually go up to edit here and say center to material. And there's nothing showing on my walnut piece here in this view. So I need to change the bit I'm using. And I'm gonna say other and my bit is actually 0 0.039 inches. And now you can actually see uh, the sign. So when you've gotten this far you need to place your workpiece onto the build plate. Oh one thing, one more thing. The letters, if I mark them here I can see how far down it's going to carve. So I'm actually going to set this to four millimeters I think. Now let's hit carve. Uh, I've already measured the material so I'm fine there. I have secured it down. You can actually try to move it with hand and see if it's secure. And I can confirm that my bit is uh, 0.039 inches which is one millimeter. Yeah. Now I have to set my work zero, confirm your work zero point and I do that with these buttons here. So I'm just gonna move the spindle to the right position and that seems kind of good and I'll lower the spindle head as well so I actually put a piece of paper in between uh, and then I lower the bit by small increments of 0 0.1 millimeters and you can sort of feel when it's down and it's tight 
So I can say use new position, then it says raise the bit, turn on the spindle, and carb. So what I did with the sign there was that I actually spray painted it uh, white and then I sanded it down and uh, the letters become more distinct. Now onto the big question, should you get one of these? Uh, it's kind of hard to say, but for me it was really worth it because I it pushed me into learning uh, CNC uh, engraving and machining and, and a lot of things around it like fusion, cam and uh, yeah, kind of the entire thing. Before I, before I had this, I, it was really hard for me to make a decision on to buy a CNC. So getting this that cheap uh, kind of made me learn CNC machining, I guess. And I might get a bigger one in the future, I might upgrade this one, but for now uh, I'm kind of thinking like in project wise, I think that I am going to make something and I adapt it to the build size I have. But if you're like me, you just want to try out a CNC, this was a really good starting point for me and it does actually work kind of good. Uh, I have some things to complain about like the clips that are just rubbish. The height to the, to the bit is really not that much, so it's hard to do something with thick wood. Yeah, it's working for me and I really enjoy using it. So I might get an X-Carve or something else in the future, but for now, this is just fine for me. All right, I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe if you haven't, hit the thumbs up, and I will see you guys next week for a new project. Bye.